What's going on guys? It's David here. Welcome to another devotional Saturday. Well, last Sunday I took my mom. We went to the All-American Quarter Horse Congress that I mentioned to you last week and uh, we saw the freestyle raining. It's always a blast. If you were ever in Columbus in October, uh, there's a lot of cool horse events going on. Uh, freestyle rain is usually the beginning of October, usually the first or second week of the show. I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, but what was really encouraging was there was a rider who was doing the freestyle raining, and then they had a second horse come out. And um, before she went out, actually, uh, they introduced her, and they also said that her, her savior is Jesus, and that she's given her life to him. And it was what a testimony uh, you know she gave. But it was the announcer giving it, and then she went riding. And when she was done, um, the second horse came out, and they're circling the arena, and the second horse had a flag on it. And it said, these big giant letters, Jesus is coming soon. Are you ready? And I was thinking, wow, what boldness uh, is that? You know, there's probably about 5,000 people around there, uh, give or take, but there was thousands of people there. And I'll tell you what, the place got quieter. Because uh, when you bring Jesus up, you know, it, it, it stops people in their tracks. And even there was a, a missed opportunity on my end when uh, there was a lady behind me. She's talking to her friends and she's saying, wow, that's a little pushy. And that should have been my end. I should have took it. I should have gave her a gospel track. I should have said something, uh, but I did not. Um, yeah, so that was a missed opportunity. And I think about, too, what Scripture says is, you know, be ready in season and out of season to give a reason for the hope that we have. Um, but I wasn't ready. So remember that, guys, as you go about your, your day, that we need to be ready in season, out of season. God will bring us these opportunities. Uh, so with that, I want to get into today's devotional, and it's regarding uh, fall. We are in the fall season. You know I love fall. I keep mentioning about it. Um, but I'm going to talk about the very first fall ever, and that was with Adam and Eve. And they lived in a perfect world. They were in the Garden of Eden. And it was up until they disobeyed the Lord. He says, you can eat anything you want from these places, except for, from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And then Eve, you know, if you, you, we all pretty much know the story. Eve got deceived by the serpent. She ate it, gave some to her husband, and the fall began. And we all fell, and we fell into this sin. Um, and it makes me think about, too, Isaiah in chapter 64, verse 6 says, We have all become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous deeds are like a polluted garment. We all fade like a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, take us away. And in the fall time, we have the leaves. Um, they're falling. The wind comes, takes them away. It's like the sin in the world. It's, it's the sin in our lives. Is Everything's dying. Everything turns to gloom. Yeah, the, the, the uh, leaves look beautiful for a time, but then it all falls and fades away. Um, and that's like us. But... We have hope, which is amazing, because in Ephesians chapter 2, it says, By grace we have been saved through faith. It's not of ourselves. It gets, it's a gift from God, not by works, so no man can boast. So we can't boast. When you surrender your life to Jesus and you repent of your sins, turn from your sins, give your life over to Jesus, you will be saved. And you will have eternity in heaven. Your name will be written in the book of life. So I want you guys to think about that as you go about your week. How, yes, when you look out and enjoy the fall weather, about the first fall and how we've fallen and we've fallen into that sin, and but Jesus is our redeemer. So what, what a what a glorious <laughs> it's glorious what a gift that He has given us. So that's what I want you guys to think about uh, today um, and this week. Well, comment below. Let me know your thoughts about the fall. Let me know about your missed opportunities that you've had. I'd love to hear about it. And also. I ask for continued prayers for me for when those opportunities do come up that I will be bold and I will just go say whatever or, you know, give a gospel track or something for God's kingdom. All right, guys, and I'll be praying for you as well. Till next time, I love you. Peace. I'm out.